Hey guys, this is Derek, and this is my partner Jimmy. And uh, today we're gonna cover right. up. We're gonna we're gonna go over the the point values of each individual piece. So first off, we'll start off with the pawn. You know, quick one. And the the pawn is worth one point, and then the uh, the knight is worth three points. The bishop is also worth three points. The rook is worth five points, and the queen is is worth nine points. Now. The king is the most important piece on the board. There is no value that can be assigned because it's, it's so important that you could probably just say it's it's priceless. It's infinite. It's you know worth more than your mother. Kidding, but you know get the idea. So with that in mind, it's probably in general it's not a good idea to trade something of lesser value. It's not it's not a good idea to trade something that's worth more. You know, say for example, this rook takes this bishop. Well, the rook is worth five points, but if the rook were to capture the bishop, you would gain three points, but then you'd give your opponent five points, and that that wouldn't be a good investment. So unless you have like a very specific reason, it's generally not a good idea to to trade something that's worth a lot more than something that's worth less. Anything to add? All right. Now you may have already noticed that the rook is worth five points, and a bishop and a knight is worth three points. In scenarios where where something where you're able to take a pawn and a rook, um, in like this scenario where you take this pawn, rook takes, and then knight takes, and then king takes, that's worth even. So if your opponent were to take that pawn, it's okay to give up that rook. Since it's worth even and and it's okay. And so, sometimes, even though it might be, you know, equivalent value, sometimes you might get a positional advantage. Now, as you can see, the black king is kind of exposed, and white can kind of just, you know, do whatever. Obviously, this is, you know, not how a real game would go, but, you know, that's something that you can kind of expect in a real game. Even though it might be, like, point wise, equal, sometimes a positional, you know, you can get a positional advantage and, ch and checkmate the king easier. All right, that's about. I think that covers the uh, point values of each individual piece, and uh, we'll see you next time on the on the next video. You know, hit the like, subscribe. You know, the whole nine yards. Shabang bang.